Like we're all, we're all here on this earth. We're all being interwoven together in some way. It's like the butterfly effect. Like we all affect one another in some way. And the, the only thing that is kind of exciting is the opportunity that you have, the opportunity that you are called into in this life to show up. I think it, maybe that's it. I think maybe in life you're just called to show up at some time. You're called to show up because when you show up and you ask somebody how their day was, when you show up and you smile at somebody, when you show up with positivity and joy, like the ripple effect in that tapestry of what that can do for somebody else, right? Then it's pretty cool. But at the end of the day, to not take yourself too seriously, I think people just, they, they hold themselves back um, because they think something actually matters that doesn't matter. No one gives a f they don't. Um, podcast happening right now uh, with Kirsten Presley. Uh, she's already on the line. I think she's from like Germany or something. Okay, I have returned. How are you, Kirsten? Today, I'm so jazzed. You guys, I am so jazzed. So a few of you know this actually about myself. I was an oil painting major through college, right? That's my degree. My degree is in oil painting. And then this whole photography thing came about later. Uh, and today's guest is a painter, right? Today's guest is, is a painter, experimental photographer. I'm talking about Kirsten Pressler, you guys. I love it. Kirsten, thank you so much for your time today. Bye, you too. Bye. All right. She's fun. I love conversations like that. Um, it's, it's like, it's the number one thing. It's the absolute number one thing that is holding people back is mindset. It's committing to something and going and doing it. I think everyone gets caught up in the technical, caught up in the Facebook ads, caught up on what copy, caught up on what it needs to be in your portfolio, caught up on the lighting setups and the gear. And it just, it like has to start here. You know, um, like Gary Vee's always talking about the clouds and the dirt, and this is the clouds. I talk about it in terms of like heart and hands, mostly because my name's Hartley. But like heart and hands, it's like you gotta, you gotta like check your heart. Like where's your heart out um, before you start doing, before you start actually implementing and getting your hands dirty and, uh, and putting in the work. Um, so it's really fun. I, she, yeah, she's really sweet. And I love talking to an oil painter, you know? So it's rad. Alrighty. I got another podcast, man. You do? Yeah. 12.30, uh, Abby, um, uh, let me see here. Where is this at? Oh wait, fuck, she just canceled. <laughs> Okay, so Abby just canceled uh, the bike. It's literally like just right now she canceled. Uh, when I booked them, her like one request was like a shot of her dad. Um, her dad doesn't show emotion very often, uh, and her dad hates getting his picture taken. Uh, and I remember I worked so hard to get this shot. Um, just his hands and the way he's holding her and like, you know how hard it is to get that tear? We got that tear. <laughs> we were just talking about that a couple weeks ago. I know, man. Getting that tear. Dude, it's so hard. I remember, I, I literally, like my, I remember shooting, shooting this so much because I, I could tell he was crying, but it's like hard to get that shot of the tear. And uh, I got it. Every time he'd get near me, he'd like kind of tuck his shoulder and try to hide from me. <laughs> Good luck, bro. I win. <laughs> Yeah, that's my favorite shot. We um, we also gotta have our team meeting too. That's the other part of this day. Uh, I'm trying to get through the inbox. There's a um. There's a guy though who reached out, a uh, photographer, and he wants a critique on his website. Um, he's taking a hit this year uh, on his SEO and just like his inquiries and wants to get uh, get some feedback. Um, James, what's going on, man? Uh, ben here. I thought I would just give you an off-the-cuff kind of answer. Uh, so I've not been to your site yet. I'm going to go to your site right now, and I'm going to give you a very like real in-the-moment reaction, okay? My initial reaction right off the bat was I do agree it's too dark. I think, um, I, yeah, especially now that we hit black. 
Like there, there is something to be said about like color theory and this. What happens as a bride? You're you're a bride landing on the site, and they land, and it's all black with a white text. And I think it's uh, it's a generally it's just like a, a little bit of a negative feeling. I guess I don't have to say. This is a weird one. What is your photography budget? I think um, I think that's a tricky question to ask people. Because what are you gonna do with that? I don't know. I personally find that to be a, a, a question that works against you. Like for me, I don't care what your budget is. I'm still gonna reach out and I'm still gonna connect. I'm still gonna figure out how I can convince you that I'm good enough that you're gonna spend 10K on. Um, Cause no one's got a 10K budget. No one writes I got a 10K budget. Just so you know. <laughs> Everyone's got a 1K budget. <laughs>